Hi guys, I hope this lighting is okay. This is part two of my Japan haul. I just recorded one which is completely on makeup and stuff. So if you want to check that out, it's somewhere in my playlist. Uh, but this is specifically for, I don't know, miscellaneous items. Like I've got fashion related stuff, some quirky stuff that I got in Tokyo, which I'm super excited. So we are going to get started. First item, I kind of mentioned it in my makeup video but it's this very very cool holographic makeup bag which I wish I got two of them I only got one but it's from a brand called flyingtiger.com and I think it's a uh, it's from Denmark or something like that but it's super cool and just look how gorgeous that is and it's very very light which I love we went to one of my favorite stores which is um, the loft in Tokyo and we got some items which I'm not able to justify to you because some of them are quite like yeah <laughs> the first one is this Wally box um, there was just one I couldn't find where else they had stuff and I just realized that it's been opened so someone probably looked into it and decided they didn't like this ah this is the girl that's cute this is I think the isn't I don't know it's in it's not in the the red and white stripes I think this is the villain Oh, this is the special edition one. This is the one that says secret. So that's really, really cool. I don't actually know what you would use. It looks like you put them across on your um, on your cup or something and you can put them in different positions. They have these ones that were like of Japanese schoolgirls that were, looked very, very long. So you sit on your cup kind of like that. That is so cute! Me and my brother, we used to um, go to the library a lot. Um, that was the only thing I was allowed to do. And um, we used to collect all these like Wally stuff. So um, Wally has a very special like meaning to me. Um, this, I don't know why I got it, but I'm a Minions fan as well. It looks like it's the burglar type. Okay, let me just figure this out. So it's a very complicated minion, but it comes with its own Lego stand, which is very cute. I got this really gorgeous, gorgeous um, fan. So fans are super huge in Japan and totally rightfully so because it's so freaking hot there. But it's also very hot in Singapore, so I'm going to make this mainstream. It's a lace fan that looks really, really gorgeous. So, and it works. It's very cooling. So, it's kind of how it looks like, and it comes with its own little um, pouch as well. Um, I got this letter. It's a knife. It's a paper knife, and we get a lot of mail. <laughs> Of narration is that we get a lot of mail and um, sometimes it's a little bit difficult in fact I do have a pile of mail waiting for me at the moment and um, I would be very excited to start using this guy here to open up my mail it's called the birdie paper knife and I like it because it's just so simple it literally looks like that and it just looks really cool for me to just put that there. Um, I've been really into card holders these days because they're just so easy to travel with so I got this really rock and rollish card holder okay this next item I don't know how practical it is but it is a coaster that's beaded so it's very hipsterish and the beads actually come out like that from Loft I got a couple of stickers these are protruding hearts that look so freaking gorgeous these are ombre hearts that are super pretty it's like pastel ombre hearts um they are letter sealers and then you've got um kind of ombre stars as well that look really really cool in that same that danish store i got this tote bag which is so awesome it's the rainbow tote bag not sure whether this was created for pride but it's so cool right and i love tote bags like Tote bags are my thing, so I had to get one of these and I got one each for Elle and Vinci as well. I hope they like it. We went to this really, really cool um, 
very upscale uh, mall. It's called Ginza 6. It's in Ginza, obviously. It's got a lot of cool, interesting shops which you don't find in Singapore, like Maison Nigella was there. Um, and then they have just a lot of cool places. They had Converse in there, and I was like thinking, Converse, okay, it's quite interesting to have a Converse in that kind of mall. And then we went in there, and Mim actually got a couple of stuff because it's a different type of Converse. It's the Converse Tokyo edition where everything is very upscale. The dress that I was looking at was like $300 or something and everything looks really really cool. So I got two accessories that were, um, these are Ginza exclusives. The first one is the these earrings. They are freaking cool. They are acrylic star, so it's the like Converse star logo. They are so unique. They do come in like um, yellow and blue as well but they were not cheap <laughs> so i couldn't get more i think these were like 90 dollars or something they were not cheap so that's how they kind of stay in place so it kind of like protrudes out to this end as you can see there but they're so cool i want to tie up my hair it will look like that so very very nice in the same range i also got this hairpin which is also by Converse, so again a Ginza exclusive and they seem to have a lot of these like rectangular type of hairpins so it has the little um, star right there and they have different stars Bubs looks very intense like that's how it looks like, it looks really cool I think um, it's just the pointed and I thought this is something you won't be able to get in Singapore um, this place, I think this is the one in, yeah, this is also in the same mall. I just couldn't pass them off. And I got these um, for gifts as well. And the first one looks like this. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? It's so pretty and very, very feminine. And it's just super, super nice. So next, I got like just a simple ribbon. This is for myself, but I thought it adds a nice touch to just a simple rubber band. And then these ones were freakishly cool. So they look like this, but they are meant to be hooked onto the back of your hair. So they are actually hooks they, like that. So you basically tie your hair in like a normal ponytail and then you just hook it onto your hair like that. So it gives it this nice chrome effect. Um, I got this one as a gift. This is super cool. It looks kind of Japanese as well. This one is a bow, which is a huge ass bow, but it covers it like that. So when you wear it, it looks like that. So I thought that was like super cool and something again different that you won't find in Singapore. And then uh, similar to the Converse hair clip, I got it in this design as well. So it's very pretty. And then this is for my friend Val's daughter, uh, Danielle. I think she likes unicorns and stuff. So this is a really gorgeous, gorgeous mermaid mirror. So these are the other ones that I got. So similar to the other hook, I got one in the star shaped as well. And then this one, I got it for my sister. Also the same like chromed shape. So I got a, like a, what do you call that? Lanyard? I got this lanyard, which is, is very simple and it's very plain but I have gotten lanyards from Japan before it's all leather but what I love about this is oh you can detach it firstly it's very long so it goes down like in a good height for me the ones that I get from like the more branded brands like Coach and stuff they always like end up too high so this is a very good length for me and then also it has an extender that allows you to like tap your card without bending down and I got two because they just look so freakishly cool so the first one is this let me open it and wear it for you so that's how they look like on very like they are giving me very native American vibes so this is the other one that I got it looks so cool and so so pretty they actually do have one that's kind of black and white but they didn't have it in the store at that time but this just looks makes me look like a million bucks but it's just so pretty i like that this sort of, it's like a waterfall it comes down that way 
and it moves as you move so yeah i need to find an excuse to wear this though like where would i wear this got a couple of paperweights uh, first one has um i think it goes like that really nice flowers it's basically flowers encased in glass just the other one really pretty almost looks like magnolia i don't know how they how they make it or anything but it's very calming to look like it's, it's almost like springing into you so it's very very well done uh, sorry for the lighting let me just try to switch on okay i hope this lighting is a little bit better also in a place in ginza this place called six um they have very nice diamond pieces um and mim got himself this ring which looks so amazing it's so pretty it's got like little diamonds in there and it's just really really pretty so let's see oh it's too tight for me <laughs> oh it's too loose for me usually i'll be able to wear and steal his rings but this is too big for me i also got this because i i tend well i do not i tend to but i tap out in and i buy back takeaway at work all the time either that or i actually have food from home and i just heat it up in the microwave at work so i want to be a little bit more environmental friendly and stop using like disposable um, cutlery so i got this cool one i've been looking for something like this but i wanted some Something that had chopsticks, a spoon and a fork. Sometimes they only have chopsticks and a spoon or a fork and a spoon. So this is by a brand called One Week Conditioning and it comes in this really cool little thing here. So it does have the spoon and the fork. It also comes with chopsticks. Speaking of chopsticks, I um, decided to invest in a couple of nice chopsticks for me and Min. I think these, it was like a store full of just chopsticks and i think these are all handmade chopsticks so i got this because they look like harry potter wands you guys so this is how it looks like i got it in the dark one and seriously don't they look like harry potter ones we have this which is a piece of jewelry which i got for myself um french handmade jewelry item the earrings look like that they are so pretty and I love the color of it. I love the gold, green, black, everything going on in here. And you basically put it on like this and you can, ex you can choose how long or how short you want it to be. So it could be done this way or it could be done this way as well. So it's really, really pretty. And I just think this color looks really good on my skin tone. There's one small leaf and one big leaf. But if you don't want to have the small leaf, you can basically just wear it like that. Just with a big leaf. And then we got this for our house. Um, it's by the Seasonal Glass of Japanese Culture by Fusion Factory. Ooh! Comes in a pouch. I don't know if this is gonna do it any justice, but it's so pretty. So it's a paperweight, but it's got one, two tiny bubbles there, and then the on top of it looks like that. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Looking down on it, it's just so it reminds me of the Maldives. It's so pretty, it's like lagoon place, and just having it there, trying not to drop it, it just looks so serene and so calm. So that basically concludes the huge like miscellaneous haul from Japan. I still have one more vlog to record and that's like the baby items. So I don't know if I'm going to record it today but that's coming up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if the lighting's a little bit off. Um, but yeah, thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!